The ABC trading strategy, while relatively unknown, experienced traders often utilize it because it's incredibly powerful and accurate, providing insights into the market sentiment and showing us which move the price is likely to make next. Despite this, many traders are unfamiliar with this pattern or struggle to understand how to read and trade it effectively. In this video, we will be showing you exactly how the pattern works, how it can be read, how you can enter into profitable positions with the ABC pattern and an indicator that can easily help you spot them. First, it's important to understand what the ABC trading pattern is. The ABC pattern is a price action pattern that consists of three distinct legs or waves, labeled A, B, and C. Each leg represents a specific price movement within a larger trend. Here we can see a great example of the ABC pattern. First, we can see a low that has been made. We will mark this low point as A. We can see that after the low was made the price made a new high. We will mark this new high as point B. After point B has formed, if a pullback is made, then we will mark the pullback as point C. The pullback made from B to C is not allowed to reach point A, if the price does reach point A, then it's no longer a valid ABC pattern. Once point C has been made we can assume that the retracement has been completed and that the price will continue to move in the upward direction. For bearish ABC patterns, we will first look for a high point, we can see here that the high was made, so let's mark it as A. Next we can see that a new low was created, we mark this point as B. Finally, a pullback needs to be made, if the pullback doesn't reach the price point at which point A was made we can mark it as point C, and we will have a valid bearish ABC pattern. After the bearish ABC pattern has been made it will be likely that the price will start moving in the downward direction. While the pattern may appear straightforward to identify, determining if a potential ABC pattern is forming or when a low or high has been made can sometimes pose a challenge. To simplify this process, let's add an indicator to the chart. Head over to the indicator search tab and search for the trading ABC indicator. Select the indicator made by Lonesome the Blue and add it to the chart. That was all that we needed to do. The indicator consists of three components, the first component is the trend cloud, this component shows us the current trend. It visually represents a range of prices and acts as a support or resistance level. When the cloud appears below the price action and green, it acts as a support zone, indicating that the market is in an uptrend. Suggesting that buying pressure may drive the price higher. Conversely, when the cloud appears above the price action and is red, it acts as a resistance zone, signaling a potential downtrend. The second component of the indicator are the red and green lines that are plotted on the chart. These lines show us the formation of the ABC pattern, helping us visualize and detect the ABC patterns. The final component of the indicator are the triangles that are plotted below or above the price action. These triangles represent the C point, meaning that they can be looked at as buy signals when they are green and sell signals when they are red. If we take a closer look, we can also see that buy signals are only plotted when the cloud is green, and sell signals are shown only when the cloud is red. If we head over to the Indicator Settings tab, we can see that the indicator identifies the ABC patterns by using the zigzag and the Fibonacci indicators. If we scroll down, we can also see that to calculate the trend cloud the indicator makes use of multiple different moving averages. Now let's take a look at entries that can be made with the indicator. But before that, if you are looking for a crypto exchange where you can hold or day trade crypto then check out Bybit. They currently have some of the lowest fees along with many trading possibilities such as spot, derivatives, NFT, and even options trading. Sign up via the link in the description to get up to a $30,000 sign up bonus along with zero maker fees for the first 30 days. Here we can see that the trend cloud is green, indicating that we are in an uptrend. If we take a look at the lines, we can also clearly see that a new ABC pattern has formed. Finally, we see that a green triangle was plotted indicating that we can now enter into a buy position. So let's enter into a buy position here. To manage the risk, we will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will be targeting a 2 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. In this case, we can see that the trend cloud is red, showing us that we are in a bearish trend. 
Upon examining the lines, it becomes clear that a new ABC pattern has emerged. Furthermore, a red triangle has been plotted, indicating an opportunity to enter into a cell position. Therefore, let's enter into the cell position. We will place the stop loss at the recent swing high. As for the take profit, we will target a 2 times risk to reward ratio. Now, let's take a look at how the trade plays out. The strategy already provides great signals, however, we can still see that false signals are provided, especially when the short-term trend is not aligned with the longer-term trend. In order to solve this problem, let's add an extra indicator to the chart. Head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Parabolic SAR indicator. Select the indicator made by TradingView and add it to the chart. Next, search for the Volume Fight indicator. Select the indicator made by Shuttle Club and add it to the chart. Now, head over to the Indicator Settings tab and click on the Style tab. We will be changing the color of the crosses that are plotted by the indicator to white. That was all that we needed to do. To enter into a position, we will combine the indicators with the following method. First, we will be using the trend cloud to determine the dominant trend. Next we will use the parabolic SAR to determine the shorter term trend. For the entry signal, we will be looking for a green or red arrow. Finally, to confirm the entry, we will check the volume fight indicator to make sure there is enough bullish or bearish volume in the market. Now let's take a look at how we can enter into positions by utilizing the strategy. We are currently looking at GBPUSD on the 1 hour timeframe, here we can observe that the price has undergone a minor downtrend, which becomes evident from the positioning of the parabolic SAR above the price action and the presence of a red trend cloud. However, a notable shift has occurred as the parabolic SAR is now positioned below the price action and the trend cloud has turned green, indicating a shift towards a bullish trend. Moreover, upon analyzing the plotted lines, we can identify the formation of a bullish ABC pattern, which is further supported by the presence of a green triangle serving as a buy signal. Additionally, the volume fight indicator showcases a substantial amount of bullish volume within the market. By combining all of the signals provided by the indicators it becomes clear that it's a good idea to enter into a position. Therefore, let's enter into a buy position here. To manage risk effectively, we will place the stop loss at the recent swing low. In terms of the take profit target, we will aim for a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio, providing a balanced approach to potential gains and losses. Now let's take a look at how the trade plays out. This time we can see that the price is in a large downtrend, this is confirmed by the parabolic SAR because of the crosses that have been plotted above the price action and the trend cloud being red and also plotted above the price action. If we take a closer look at the price action we can also see that a new ABC pattern has formed, this is confirmed by the red triangle, indicating a bearish ABC pattern. To confirm that the volume in the market is also bearish, let's take a look at the volume fight indicator. By looking at the indicator we can see that it's red and below the zero line, showing us that there is bearish volume in the market to push the price down further. All of these signals indicate that it's a good idea to enter into a position. So let's enter into a sell position here. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing high. For the take profit, we will be targeting a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. I hope you can see how the ABC pattern can be used to enter into positions and how it can be integrated into different strategies. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.